Hi everybody. Let's see if I can, oh, there we go. So today I'm just going to design a house for fun. You can see this is one I did recently. It's my little, I tried to do like a Victorian octagon kind of house, kind of old fashioned. You can see the little study. Trying to, there we go. See the little study with all the plants, <laughs> little garden area. But my one and only one pet peeve about this game is that there aren't more properties for me to design houses on. And I like making houses and I like other people's designs. So I, I wish there were like 12 more islands. <laughs> So I'm going to find a property. Oh, it looks like I already had picked one. Oh, I did. Yay. All right, I already got a property. It's a pretty small property, but that's okay. Let me remove. See, this layout changed for me, so now it's really funky. <laughs> like, it went to the old layout, which is really disappointing. I really like the other layout better, but what you can do. Still love the game, so can't complain. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's a little cheat. If you want to get put a bunch of stuff in your uh, inventory real fast, just make a room and sell the room, and it's going to move all the contents into your inventory. Boom! So I'm going to look at this property and try to think what kind of a house do I want. <sighs> Not going to lie, half the time I make it up as I go along. Sorry if it sounds like a cyclone in the background. It's my car air conditioner. <laughs> All right. So I think I want like an inset kind of entrance. Let's see. So, boom. Boom. Do I want it that big? I got to keep in mind how shallow the depth is. So, I probably won't just ramble the whole time. I don't know. Maybe I will. <laughs> Whoops. So, I think I want like an entrance kind of inset. That way, you can have like a little seating, little patio thing. Real small one. So, when you walk in, what do I want to see? What do I want to see when you walk in? Living room. I sometimes like having the dining room when you first enter. And then like the living room to one side and the kitchen to the other side. But I'm thinking I want it to look really open. And I mean like really open. Like I want windows everywhere. Maybe I'll have a combined dining and living room. And I mean, I guess I could have a combined kitchen. I never really do that, but I could. Just to have a bigger effect. Like, I want, like, I'm going to have that whole back wall, like, windows galore. Like, I want a lot of windows. And then I might have stairs. I'm not sure. I might start with, like, that. And then... I might actually leave that. This could be like a little bathroom or something. And I these rooms are always subject to change. Sometimes like with the one tip, one tip before you start making your second floor, you have to have your room layout set first because let's say you want to like change this to this and add two separate rooms. It's really hard, sometimes even impossible once you have the second floor. So let's say you wanted two rooms here, but you had a second floor. You could technically add a room here on the outside and then just kind of inch it over. 
but it's really, it, it gets tricky. It gets complicated. So I don't recommend, I recommend trying to get your first level set before moving forward because it gets kind of tricky sometimes. I've got kids at the park waving at me. I think I'm going to close my window. Now my dog is getting angry. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What do I want to do? So I'm going to have the kitchen on the right. Kind of the living room in the middle. And the dining room on the left. I might actually want it like a little bit longer. Usually I don't design one giant room houses like this, but I was kind of feeling it today. So what I'm actually going to do, I want you to walk into the bathroom. And then I want like a whoops, separate room with like a bath. That way, uh, the reason I like that is people can use the bathroom and it doesn't disrupt the person trying to take a bath. <laughs> I try to make my sim homes as, like, functional as possible. So I'm going to start with that. I'm going to start with that. And it's funny, I usually change things like a million times. I'll pick a floor and then I'll be like, oh, but I like this couch and that couch doesn't go with that floor. So now I have to change everything. <laughs> so I honestly have no idea what I'm doing with this one. I'm just kind of winging it. This is a nice floor, but I want it to look bright, like light and open. I don't want the, I don't think I want the white. You know, I could always do the white and then throw rug separators. I'll start with that. I may definitely probably change it but maybe not maybe not and you know you're gonna have different items and I'm gonna have you know obviously do your own uh, spin this is just a weird little like if you, you know you enjoy watching see that looks a little too much like I want a little more design than that you know what I mean like a little more pattern that's nice these are so cool these walls. I don't know if any of you guys got unlocked those. Let me know what you think of stuff too. Ooh. Ooh. See, I could do like this. All right, here's an idea. Although this is nice. Oh, that is definitely what I'm doing. Definitely what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry, but that was nice. I might do that like in the bathroom. And then... Where are the other, ah, this and like the room with the actual tub. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing out there yet, so I'll just stick to the inside. And actually, I gotta say, I love these walls too, with the, the fading brick, super cute. All right, so, so far I'm thinking this. I want some windows, and I mean I want some big windows. What I wish, oh, what am I in my inventory? Here she is. What I wish is these. I wish these weren't LP. But that's okay. They're kind of a colder look than I want. I love these windows, how they're like big and open. Let's see. Where did they go? These are really nice too. These might actually be the ones that I go with. I'm going to show you a few different tricks, like, as I come across them, to just pour it all on you at once would just be really weird, but 
I'm going to definitely be dropping some tips and tricks as I go along. See, that looks a little boring. So, definitely not going to just be doing that. Like, I like switching it up a little. Let's see. Windows, windows, windows. What I should do is do the second floor and then try to kind of pair them up, but... That's okay. So, I might do something like that, and then I might actually have a door going to the backyard. I really like things matching. I love when people can figure out nice ways of fitting things together, but I like things matching. So there we go. Kind of matches very open. I'm probably going to have a second floor and I'm going to have very open design. So I'm actually going to start that right now. Boom. All right. How do I? Here we go. I'm trying to think because. Okay, this house doesn't have a bedroom yet, so basically, I'm trying to think what I want. So, we could do like a cool loft bedroom up there in that corner, kind of above the kitchen. That way we can have like a long chandelier over the dining room over there. Yeah, loft bedroom. So, I want it to come out like four squares, I'm thinking. So let's see, rooms, four squares, all right, let's, uh, let's see here, now I'm gonna do, so I think mezzanines were a quest, I apologize if I'm mistaken, oh, I think they were a quest for reasons like I just did, did you see that mistake I just made, like, trying to just place a mezzanine. You have to make a room first. By the way, the people of Sims who made it so that you can make L-shaped rooms, they are amazing. Whoops. I'm trying to hit that arrow. I wonder if I can move this little... No, I can't. Alright. Oh, you know another cool thing? This room, I'm gonna put windows. So this is gonna be a big open area and then I'm gonna put windows so that they can see out as well. It's gonna be cool. All right, mezzanines. I just have to remember like that I need some stairs and I have to like figure out where the stairs are gonna go. That is my downfall. Stairs are like my trouble. I can never figure out where I want my stairs and junk. All right, but see this? See how it kind of... Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's a way to make that like a rail instead of a wall. I mean, I, I guess I could pull the room back and make, like, a balcony, but there'd be much less room for things. Let me, huh, let me attempt. Let me just see what's up. Oh, okay, so it does the rail automatically. If there's no, because uh, the room is there. All right, I see. So now I just need some kind of door. I'm just kind of messing around. This isn't like a for sure gonna stay this way. This is me just messing around, so. So I want like a really huge door. Wish I had this large oak door in like a gray. Let's see if I have any in my inventory. Never know, right? Ooh, there's a white one. Oh, that's not gonna work. Too small. Oh, the cream, again, way too small. Mm. I 
actually, that's kind of too small, too. I don't even know if I'm going to go that route. I kind of wish, like, I could just knock that whole wall down. I mean, I guess I... Hmm. No, because I don't want her living on a balcony outside. That would be weird, right? Hmm. If you guys want to drop in the comments, like, favorite things that you like, like, things that you have to have in your house, like, every house. Like, for me, I'm addicted to separating my bathroom and, like, the room that actually has the bath. That way, my little people can take a bath and people can use the bathroom and the little bath person doesn't get interrupted and the people who have to go potty don't have to wait. Yeah, I don't know. I like doing it like it's real life. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, if there's any like little things, this is kind of cute. That could work. That could work. The bed would be private. And then I could have like other little things out there. That would be kind of neat. The question is how, to, uh, how does she get to it? Because the door is going to be right here-ish down here. And... The kitchen is going to be behind it. Um, I really can't have the stairs in the room part because then there wouldn't be room for the bed or anything. Hmm. Let me just get some stairs out and see what happens. Here we go. I want the gray because they match. Sorry that I'm going so slow. They have changed this game so many times that, like, it's, yeah, that's horrible. See, I don't want that at all. That was horrible. I can't do that. Oh, you know why I can't do this? Because there's no room going out over it. So, five by one. Let's try something here. Let's try a room. Um. Alright, we, whoops. We gotta change the mezzanine first. Yeah, we can do this. So, let's give this a shot. Stairs. Yeah, like if there's something you want to do and you can't figure it out, just keep trying. Like you'll find, you'll find a way. See, so we got our stairs there. Looks a little funky. I could, what I could do is. But I don't want that to dominate the house. And actually, the kitchen was supposed to go over there. It's going to be a little tricky putting a kitchen over there. I mean, it'll be a challenge. We'll figure it out. Oh, you know what I could have done? I could have closed that off. So then the kitchen could go flat against it. Which means I would literally have to change the floors. <laughs> Darn it. Uh, let me think. What is this? One, two, three, four, five. And then six squares. Alright, let me just start doing things won't let me of course not why why would it let me all right so i think what i need to do is actually like change my mezzanine there we go um i think i have to then change the room there we go actually worked i'm happy 
Okay, we're gonna make that smaller. What did I say? Six? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm gonna owl that. Actually, why don't I go a little bit different of an angle with this? I have an idea, guys. All right, let's see. Stairs. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Why? What did I miss? Oh, yeah, that's a biggie. Not having a floor to go up to. That's, that's a biggie. Oops, why isn't it working? Actually, hold up. I made a mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's gonna be like that. And then rooms, we need this. So basically I'm just putting a room over another room to enclose the stairs. Let me explain. So that I can have my kitchen right up against a flat wall. And the stairs are gonna be concealed in here. So I just had to like move it in one I like seeing the stairs. We can always add windows, which I just might do. That way you can kind of see and it'll be like super cool. Let's see. I gotta fix that mezzanine first. That's, a, that's another question. Like, do I fix that mezzanine? I mean, even if I I don't think I even can. Why I can't? Peculiar. No, oh, well. Let me try something. Yeah, it doesn't work. Weird, right? Wonder why. I mean, it's fine because I kind of changed my mind about having it anyways, but. I got so much stuff going on. It's really hard to push that button with that recorder there. If there's any cutout parts where you can't hear me, I'm sorry. Sometimes my hand covers the microphone. All right, all right. Here we go. Now we need a door. All right. I want it far over so that you can go up the stairs without getting in the way of the kitchen. So the kitchen's gonna be right here, right against that wall. And then this is gonna actually lead upstairs into her room. So here's a little tip I wanna show you. Let me duplicate this door. So you can see how you can put it right next to the downstairs, but upstairs, it doesn't work. See how you can't put that there? Well, it's you actually can. Just take your stairs, whoops, out, and put your whoops, put your door where you want it first. Which I think I'm gonna have it here so that it doesn't obstruct the cool look of that dome door. And I'm not gonna lie, I think I want a closing door because it's going down to the kitchen. Because it's going to the main house, I think I actually want a solid door that you cannot see through, because... Did they fix these doors yet? They did! About time, goodness gracious. All right. Stairs. Now when you put your stairs back, the door is right at the top and it will be functional. So a little trick, if it's not working, just take the stairs out, put your doors in first. If something ever doesn't work, even a window near a counter or something, sometimes it really won't work. Sometimes if you take the item out and put the window there first and then put the item back, it'll literally work all the time. It not, I mean, not all the time, but very often 
It happens all the time for me is what I'm saying. It's really nice. There have been times I'm like, oh, I really wanted a window here. So I took something out and then it worked. And then I put the window right back. So now railings. Not really sure what I want to go with. That's kind of cute. I do really love that railing. That's pretty darn cute. Now should I have like, can I have supports in the house? Because that looks really funky. Not having a support, doesn't it? The only issue is like I won't be able to set things right up close to it. But that looks nice, doesn't it? The support. I love it. Alright, let's do some stuff. This is driving me crazy. Ooh, I forgot about that floor. Oh, I love that floor. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this floor. It is so nice. <laughs> I forgot. So let's see. Yeah, so what we do to this, because it's all the same room, it does over there as well. So, no biggie. And actually, I'm going to have the same walls, so I'm going to see if they even go together or if if it's a bit too much. Let's, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think that looks lovely. I like it. And again, we can choose to keep that concealed. Usually I put windows to open it up, but I think the simplicity of seeing that balcony is pretty sweet. I think I'm going to keep it like that. But I am going to put the white floor down here so that it matches. And I need some walls. Boom. Right there, we go. I'm liking it. I am gonna change the outside. Let me. Whoops, that's a pool. Sorry, this game layout is so different than it was. So what's the inside, like gray and stuff? I just, I'm, I don't really want brick this time. I always go with brick. Maybe I'll go with siding. And then, da 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 da, where is... So I just saw something funny and I almost picked up my phone to record it for you guys and I realized this is recording in-game. <laughs> but I'm at a park and a guy just drove by on a lawn, like he drove up the whole drive from the street on a lawnmower and just kind of caught me off guard. <laughs> Alright, whatever. This is good for right now. I want to get back to inside. So, um, I also got a put my windows up to here. So I like things to match. This does not match. It's driving me crazy. I like things matching when I design it. When other people design it, I always admire when they have things not match but go together. It's like I always admire other people's work because it's like their minds work differently than mine and I, I love it. All right. see isn't that cool it looks like it continues now the only issue with this is that people can see you going up and down the stairs but that's okay she's got that privacy door there anyways so I'm, I think I'm gonna have plants on this ledge it's just a decorative ledge Oh, 
All right. Let's see. I need a two panel window or a double window. There we go. See how big and open and sunny. Actually, it might be kind of cool to have like the living room under that all cozy. But, I mean, I even had this room over here for like a study, but I mean, it I guess it doesn't hurt to slap a door there. I was gonna have the kitchen over there and then the living room in the middle and the dining room on the left, but starting to think should I have like the dining room under that would that be kind of cool is it too narrow to fit it because that takes let me see let me see real quick dining room if it looks too crunched or if it looks pretty what am I doing I'm working with like grays and stuff let me just try this out Kind of works, that fits. Let's see if there's, I think there's a three chalet gray something something table. Somewhere, here we are. Chalet white, I guess it's called. Hey, let's see if it looks good or if it looks cramped and weird. I think that's kind of cute, right? Yeah, that kind of worked. Yeah. That worked out kind of well. It looks kind of cute. We could always also, to kind of complete it, see if there's a rug. What do we have? Four by five? They might not have an exact fit. This is kind of a cool look, kind of crazy, but, whoops. Yeah, it doesn't really, no. They're probably not gonna have. So four by five would make, mean two by five would work, four by, I don't know if there's any by five other than a five by five, so we might need like one by four five one by fours if there even are one by fours <laughs> nice thing with this gray one is you can actually piece them together so like this would work Not saying I'm doing it, just taking a little look see. So it's cool, except I feel like it draws away from the balcony, so I'm gonna actually can that idea. I greatly apologize for the sound of the man mowing the lawn beside me. I'm actually probably gonna stop this video pretty soon. This might be a couple part video. Is that cute? I can't really even see it. I wonder if this one would look cute. Whoops. Does that look cute? That actually is kind of pretty. Kind of adds a little something without, whoa, too far. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Let's see. Bedroom. You know what, I think I actually, if I have any, I might not.
There's this little gray bed that I was hoping I... Oh, I do have it. It's tiny, but I just think it's the most lovely little thing. I know it looks kind of crammed in a corner. I mean, I could do this. I kind of liked how it was just completely private, though. I'm not going to lie. I liked how... It was an open concept, but kind of private. See how, like, you can't see the person. Isn't that cool? I'm going to keep that. I know it might not design-wise look so hot, but I don't care. I think it's cool. And then... So, I've got these beautiful little dressers. I think centered on this wall would be lovely. This is the one I had in mind. That gray. See? Isn't it pretty? And it's centered. Kind of a pretty little pretty little thing. We could put some windows there. Now, windows that go into bedrooms, I always have them to where they can close. Unless it's completely like high up in private and facing like an ocean or something. But let's see. Trying to think here. Walls. Now do I want the same gray walls or do I want a little bit different like that? Or let's just see what it looks like. I just feel like it might be a little too much. That might be nice, the white panels. I just don't want it all being exactly the same. Let's take a little look. Yeah, I think that's pretty. 